is that the Indian media, whether it be the newspapers or the television channels, they picked up everything without verifying what the Bangladeshi newspaper Daily Star said. My point is that they did not follow the ethics of journalism. The second question is, why didn't they pick up the comments which were written by the readers of this Daily Star? And when I went on the online edition, I found that almost all the comments were in my favor except for one. And I'll read you some of the comments. Why didn't the media repeat them? One of the comments is by Samina Hussain, who says, Zakir Naik is not a radical preacher. Please post the link of anything that he said that was radical. Anything anyone says can be taken out of context. Let us decide if he's radical. The Daily Star should be more responsible before making sweeping comments. There's another comment by Rafiuddin. Zakir Naik, a radical preacher? Question mark. Please produce your evidence. He emphatically denounced killing innocent people, be it a Muslim or non-Muslim. He frequently quotes the following ayah to condemn those who murder innocent people. If anyone murder a person, unless it be for capital punishment, for murder or for spreading mischief in the land, it would be as if he has murdered the whole humanity. And if anyone saved it, it would be saved the life of the whole humankind. Quran chapter 5 verse 32. There is another comment by Rabi Khan. The truth will come out by proper investigation, I think. Another comment by Humayu Siddiqui. Zakir Naik, a radical preacher, question mark, L-O-L. Laugh out loudly. These were some of the comments. There's another comment by Shafiq Ol Islam. Can the reporter tell us which particular speeches of these three men provoked the miscreants to commit the atrocities? And did they live in a world where only speeches of these three men were available? Such reportage may not harm the reputation of preachers like Dr. Zakir Naik. However, I am afraid it will characterize the Daily Star as a media outlet that exhibits bias and prejudice. Niruna Manush I didn't know if Dr. Zakir Naik was promoting extremism and jihad. I guess you should verify the source before publishing news. Comparison with all organized major religion is very common. Every church in the West use comparison method to promote Christianity. If Dr. Naik is not involved in promoting jihad, then please remove him from the news. It may hurt many people's feelings. I'll read one more. Mehdi Hassan Sheikh says, How much of jackass do you have to be to call Dr. Zakir Naik a radical preacher? Why didn't the Indian news media also mention all these things? This shows that it is more of journalism to attract more viewership and to have more readership that they pick up what they want and they leave what they want rather than verify. If you verify the fact, you come to know that I'm totally against terrorism. I'm totally against killing any innocent human being. This is Dr. Zakir Naik from the holy city of Makkah on the first of Shawwal, wishing all the people a very happy and prosperous Eid. Taqabbalam min nominkum. May Allah accept the good deeds, prayers, du'as and sacrifice from us.